Hi, Girl Scouts. It's me, Everett. And, and here I, you are. And my name is Lily. And today we're going to be making um, a, a nice summer um, treat, treat for, for National S'more Day. Day. On August 10th. So, so we're going to be making s'more popsicles. Yay! Yay! They're going to be so delicious. So to make this treat, you're going to need the following ingredients. And it's this. Whipped topping. And either one of these. Graham crackers or graham cracker cereal. And we're going to need that pudding. Chocolate, chocolate chips. It doesn't matter which type of chocolate chips. It just matters what you want. And milk. Milk, marshmallows, and, and chocolate pudding. I already showed them that. Oh, I think I did. So here are the following tools. This guitar. Also known as a whisk. As like doing it like a guitar. And this big spoon. Also known as a ladle. And this teacup thing. One cup. A one cup measuring cup. Or 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 a 237 milliliter measuring and cup. And some goggles. A Ziploc. <laughs> and a calf decent spoon. That's an iPad, a spoon. actually. And then you're also going to need a bowl. And then some of Bowls the... Bowls of nothing. <laughs> Full of air. <laughs> and... And you could either use... Popsicle molds with the little popsicle sticks. That's a must. Okay. Or you could use a muffin tray, and then you're definitely gonna need these. And then you could either use or you can straws, preferably <laughs> paper, to this. save the sea turtles. Oh, wow, or that's weird. chopsticks or popsicle sticks. So now that we have all of our ingredients listed, we're going to start making the pudding. You should definitely follow the um, instructions on the back because it could vary from the type of pudding that you use. And while I'm making the pudding, I'm going to have Ev crack some graham crackers. Go at it. Okay. And while he's doing that, I'm going to start making the pudding. You should... Okay. Wait for your words, young lady. Okay. What? So now that he's done doing that, I'm going to start making the pudding. So first, you're going to want to to pour in the milk. Following the instructions on the back of the box first. And then you're going to go and pour in the pudding mix, if that's what your box says. So now that you have that poured in, you're going to take a whisk, also known as a guitar, and then you're going to whisk it. I like guitars. Now that... Um, Personal space. So now that you poured all your ingredients, you're gonna whisk it. And my box says to whisk it for two minutes, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then after two minutes, it will start looking a little thicker. Okay, it's my turn, Lily. Oh, this is, oh, this is thick. Make sure your bowl doesn't go sliding off the counter. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I finished stirring, um, the pudding should look like this, or similar. And now that I finished stirring, Everett is going to go and pour in these chocolate chips. Okay. 
Will it do it? Oh, wow. Don't stir it. Don't stir it. Okay. And then you're going to go and pour in three spoonfuls of graham crackers. Not the whole bag, but like half of the bag. to get three spoonfuls of this whipped cream and then we're going to let me help we're gonna go get three spoonfuls of whipped cream and then we're going to make sure that they're big spoonfuls too <laughs> and um and then we're going they gotta be really big like not tiny little like not, not tiny like an ice cream it needs to be like as big as a not scoop tiny, of ice cream. Not tiny little snowflakes. Pretty much. Like a downhill snowball is running down the largest <laughs> hill you've ever seen. Yeah, it's snowing. It's just getting bigger. And you're going to need like this big. Three of them. Like three? this yeah, big. So big as Now that you have your whipped cream, pudding, um, graham crackers, and chocolate chips all together in a bowl, then you're going to start mixing it until the whipped cream is evenly spread out throughout the thing throughout Both. the pudding so that it's just cream and not any just meat. that looks so delicious like a boat so now that your pudding stirred behind the scenes i've had ev work on putting cupcake liners into the muffin tin and doing a and putting a oh, marshmallow no. on the stick on Poking a sticker straw into a marshmallow so that um, it, the straw will stay put. Because unless, if you don't do that, then it's not going to work. So, Ev, would you demonstrate how to do that? Okay, look. So, you do this, then this, and this lady go in there, and go in here. In here. Because you got to put it in afterward. Okay, so, now, lady. You. So now that that's so now that he's doing that, I'm going to pour this pour this into a cupcake liner about three fourths of the way, so like three quarters. So like almost to the top, but not quite. And then you're going to go and get one of these and poke it right into the middle. The order that you do this is very important because if you put it in before, then the stick will fall out. But if you put it in afterward, then it will just move around the stick and stay it there. So now I'm going to do this for every single one. So this one isn't staying up. It just starts falling. So if that's happening, just go like this. No, baby. Yummy. <laughs> so now that you've gone and stuck the little sticks into the cupcake pudding things, now you're going to decorate them, which is great because you get to make them look aesthetically pleasing. So what you're going to do is you're going to sprinkle however many amount of graham crackers you want on, a, on one. And then you're going to go and you're going to dip these so that they stick together in the, in the freezer. So I'm back. Like that. And... I'm going to decorate all the ones with the strawberries, and then Ev's going to decorate the ones without the strawberries. So, the the way that you make these ones with the popsicle molds is basically the same as making these. You put the pudding into the popsicle mold, then you put the decorations and graham crackers and stuff in it, then you put these in, and then you put them in the same amount of time, which is overnight. Um, so, thank you for watching. I hope... You have lots of fun making these the day before S'mores Day so that you could eat them on S'mores Day, which is August 10th. And can't wait to make some more videos. Bye.